When one door of happiness closes, another opens, but often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one which has been opened for us. I would rather walk with a friend in the dark, than alone in the light. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Death is no more than passing from one room into another. But there's a difference for me, you know. Because in that other room I shall be able to see. One can never consent to creep when one feels an impulse to soar. Although the world is full of suffering, it is full also of the overcoming of it. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Keep your face to the sun and you will never see the shadows. Be of good cheer. Do not think of today's failures, but of the success that may come tomorrow. You have set yourselves a difficult task. But you will succeed if you persevere, and you will find a joy in overcoming obstacles. Remember, no effort that we make to attain something beautiful is ever lost. The most pathetic person in the world is someone who has sight but no vision. What we once enjoyed and deeply loved we can never lose for all that we love deeply becomes a part of us. The highest result of education is tolerance. Never bend your head. Hold it high. Look the world straight in the eye. I long to accomplish a great and noble task. But it is my chief duty to accomplish small tasks as if they were great and noble. Science may have found a cure for most evils, but it has found no remedy for the worst of them all, the apathy of human beings. What I'm looking for is not out there, it is in me. People don't like to think, if one thinks, one must reach conclusions. Conclusions are not always pleasant. A bend in the road is not the end of the road, unless you fail to make the turn. We could never learn to be brave and patient if there were only joy in the world. Literature is my utopia. Everything has its wonders, even darkness and silence, and I learn, whatever state I may be in, therein to be content. Happiness does not come from without, it comes from within. Many persons have a wrong idea of what constitutes true happiness. It is not attained through self-gratification but through fidelity to a worthy purpose. Security is mostly a superstition. It does not exist in nature, nor do the children of men as a whole experience it. Avoiding danger is no safer in the long run than outright exposure. Life is either a daring adventure, or nothing. Face your deficiencies and acknowledge them, but do not let them master you. Let them teach you patience, sweetness, insight. Relationships are like Rome, difficult to start out, incredible during the prosperity of the golden age, and unbearable during the fall. 
Then, a new kingdom will come along and the whole process will repeat itself until you come across a kingdom like Egypt. That thrives, and continues to flourish. This kingdom will become your best friend, your soul mate, and your love. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. When we do the best that we can, we never know what miracle is wrought in our life, or in the life of another. For three things I thank God every day of my life, thanks that He has vouchsafed me knowledge of His works, deep thanks that He has set in my darkness the lamp of faith, deep, deepest thanks that I have another life to look forward to a life joyous with light and flowers and heavenly song. Literature is my utopia. Here I am not disenfranchised. No barrier of the senses shuts me out from the sweet, gracious discourses of my book friends. They talk to me without embarrassment or awkwardness. For, after all, everyone who wishes to gain true knowledge must climb the hill difficulty alone, and since there is no royal road to the summit, I must zigzag it in my own way. I slip back many times, I fall, I stand still, I run against the edge of hidden obstacles, I lose my temper and find it again and keep it better, I trudge on, I gain a little, I feel encouraged. I get more eager and climb higher and begin to see the widening horizon. Every struggle is a victory. One more effort and I reach the luminous cloud, the blue depths of the sky, the uplands of my desire. The few own the many because they possess the means of livelihood of all, the country is governed for the richest, for the corporations, the bankers, the land speculators and for the exploiters of labor. The majority of mankind are working people. So long as their fair demands, the ownership and control of their livelihoods, are set at naught, we can have neither men's rights nor women's rights. The majority of mankind is ground down by industrial oppression in order that the small remnant may live in ease. In a word, literature is my utopia. Here I am not disfranchised. No barrier of the senses shuts me out from the sweet, gracious discourse of my book friends. They talk to me without embarrassment or awkwardness. The things I have learned and the things I have been taught seem of ridiculously little importance compared with their large loves and heavenly charities. So long as you can sweeten another's pain, life is not in vain. I believe that God is in me as the sun is in the color and fragrance of a flower, the light in my darkness, the voice in my silence. Life is a succession of lessons which must be lived to be understood. Keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadows. It's what the sunflowers do. Four things to learn in life, to think clearly without hurry or confusion, to love everybody sincerely, to act in everything with the highest motives, to trust God unhesitatingly. Self-pity is our worst enemy and if we yield to it, we can never do anything good in the world. Knowledge is love and light and vision. The unselfish effort to bring cheer to others will be the beginning of a happier life for ourselves. No pessimist ever discovered the secret of the stars or sailed an uncharted land, or opened a new doorway for the human spirit. We bereaved are not alone. We belong to the largest company in all the world the company of those who have known suffering. We can do anything we want as long as we stick to it long enough. 
so much has been given to me I have not time to ponder over that which has been denied. Your success and happiness lie in you. My friends have made the story of my life. There are no shortcuts to any place worth going. Faith is the strength by which a shattered world shall emerge into light. I do not want the peace which passeth understanding, I want the understanding which bringeth peace. There is no better way to thank God for your sight than by giving a helping hand to someone in the dark. College isn't the place to go for ideas. I wonder what becomes of lost opportunities? Perhaps our guardian angel gathers them up as we drop them, and will give them back to us in the beautiful sometime when we have grown wiser, and learned how to use them rightly. One painful duty fulfilled makes the next plainer and easier. The one I felt and still feel most is lack of time. I used to have time to think, to reflect, my mind and I. We would sit together of an evening and listen to the inner melodies of the spirit, which one hears only in leisure moments when the words of some loved poet touch a deep, sweet chord in the soul that until then had been silent. But in college there is no time to commune with one's thoughts. One goes to college to learn, it seems, not to think. When one enters the portals of learning, one leaves the dearest pleasures solitude, books and imagination outside with the whispering pines. I suppose I ought to find some comfort in the thought that I am laying up treasures for future enjoyment, but I am improvident enough to prefer present joy to hoarding riches against a rainy day. Blindness separates people from things. Deafness separates people from people. To keep our faces toward change, and behave like free spirits in the presence of fate, is strength undefeatable.